What's up guys? Welcome to Off the Tenth. My name is Chris and today we're going to do a beer that I picked up at the LCBO. Yes, I did. I picked it up at the Niagara Falls LCBO on Portage Road because it was the closest one to my place. Um, this beer is courtesy of Lock Street. Um, they're located in Port Dalhousie. I did a little trip uh, a couple days ago with my daughter and uh, you know, just to take a look at what the situation was going on down in Port Luzi, it was, um, there was a lot, a lot of flooding down there from what I heard. So because of the, obviously because of the lake having a lot more water than normal. Um, so went down there, did a little bit of filming and yeah, this is what we saw coming right here, right now. Here it is. <music> have it that's what uh that's what's going on in Porto Luzi I mean it is kind of under construction and underwater uh there was a part there that I didn't grab on camera where the volleyball courts were actually underwater and it was pretty crazy because normally it's not um normally it's all sand there obviously it's a beach right um anyway this beer I started pouring it without even telling you what it's all about, what it's all about this beer is coming in at 5.5 percent alcohol by volume and it's in a 473 milliliter can yeah so this would be a pale ale from uh Lock Street on the back says located at 15 Lock Street in the old Wellington Hotel the heart of the town for 150 years we are proud to bring back the tradition of craft and drink to the hard-working men and women of Ontario that's traditionally brewed with Canadian Turo barley and surprisingly smooth and balanced beer with hints of citrus flavors. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, as I poured it, the head is dissipating, but I'll pour a little bit more out here. All right, so this beer is looking like a pale ale for sure. Um, kind of looking like a West Coast style pale ale or IPA. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's um, I kind of hope it's not going to be LCBO aged, but we'll see um, if there's no can date on the bottom of this can, which kind of sucks, but whatever, we'll just have to go with the nose on this one. So anyway, poured off with a actual finger of head, big bubbles on there, soapy. Um, it's actually nice and nice color to it. You know, it's a kind of like a, an, a dark orange going into a maybe a lighter brown, but uh, yeah, let's smell it. Oh, it smells malty. Uh, I'm afraid. She smells malty. Um, that's about a little bit of a, a citrus note on it, I guess, because the can told me it did. But uh, anyway, let's try it. Cheers. It's a pale ale. Tastes like a straight up pale ale. A buddy of mine would say this tastes like dandelions. But for me, this tastes it's a little bit sweet up front. I'm kind of thinking it's maybe aged a little bit past its prime. Uh, but then it goes right into a you know a floral note, a little bit of that piney taste to it, and it dries right out the end. It, it, it's got a super dry finish, making me want to go back for more. 
which is a positive because who doesn't want to go back for more beer after they take the first sip. Um, what else to say? Low feel on this one. Low end of medium. It's not super thin, and it's not you know super full or anything like that. It's in the lower end of medium. Yeah, uh, creaminess, sure. It's carbonated. It's not overly carbonated. I think it's just right. But going back into the taste on this one, I think on my on tap, I think I might have given this one a three out of is that three is that a three out of five or six out of ten or maybe even a three and a half. I can't remember now offhand, but no taste on this one. I'm not a big fan still of the uh, regular pale ales. I prefer myself some New England style IPAs, but you know, get out there, try everything, right? Um. You know what? It's not bad. I'm going to give it a little bit higher. No, I'm not going to give it a score per se, but you know what? Going back in on the tap, I might bump it up a little bit. This isn't this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, it's a little bit sweeter up front because it's probably past its prime, but uh, other than that, it's still got that bittering in it. It's still got that dry finish. You know, it's a good it's a good uh, pale ale, I guess. Boxer, you did okay with this one. It's not my favorite thing you guys make, but you know, it's good. It's a good benchmark beer for you guys to have out in the Okabio. But anyway, dragging this bad boy down and dragging it out as well. Anyway, I'm done, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have had <clears throat> the industrial IPA from Lock Street. Uh, if you have, let me know what you thought. Other than that, I'm done with the video. Subscribe, like the video, hit that notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Camera's really far away from me today. But I'm out of here. Cheers, guys. Bye.